I'm bringing the fucking East in here, made in USA, out of retirement for this goddamn piece of shit made in China pencil sharpener, you know? And I'm seeing all these fuckers on CNBC comment, oh, the green shoot, the green shoot, you know, here's the green shoot. All oh, the consumers are spending, consumers are spending, and continuing jobless claims are at all-time high. You know, we got about six million people drawing goddamn unemployment, another million and a half on those extended unemployment. We had the biggest drop in U.S. exports in 40 years. Oh, everything's okay. Where, where's the green suit? We got a green suit in this right? I mean, really, goddammit. You know? I mean, durable good orders were better than expected. Well, they don't say we revised February down to make March look better. I mean, fuck this government data. This is what really gets me. I mean, the manufacturing is fucked. Construction is free fucked. Oh, but government and banking? Oh, hell, that's doing just fine. Government and banking is doing great. I mean, really. I mean, what the fuck? Oh, you ain't going off that easy, motherfuckers. Come back here. Where do you think you're going? The home, in NASCAR, the Home Depot car is a fucking Toyota Camry. Oh, we want to know what happened to America. What happened to America? We didn't protect our market. We let these fucking foreign automakers flood the streets with this bullshit. And they want, you know, oh, if we try to protect the shit, oh, you're being protectionist. You're being protectionist. Look at that shit. Motherfucker. Goddamn unemployment rates rose in all 372 metropolitan areas for the fifth straight month. Oh, but don't worry about that. Because uh, the, the economy is going to rebound before employment comes back. Oh, my God. We got a jobless recovery, folks. Oh, no, wait, no, wait a minute. Keep checking your mailbox. The credit cards are about to be coming in there any time now, folks. Why don't we do like they do in France? You know, over in France, when the motherfucking boss man pisses you off, you kidnap that bastard. You know? Why don't we do that shit here? I'm ready to kidnap my boss man. You know? Why are we so scared over here in America? I'm sick of these motherfuckers scared. What are we scared of? I mean, you know? Oh, 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 what was we supposed to be happy about? Never mind, the recession's over. We've got 800 brand new IRS jobs. Woohoo! I mean, thank God, you know? Or maybe we're supposed to be happy that uh, our percentage of debt, the public debt to GDP ratio in 08 was 41%. In 09, it's going to be 51%. Maybe we're supposed to be happy about that. We're supposed to be happy about this cap and trade shit. Oh, I'll give you uh, $12. I'll give you $12 on your paycheck. Then I'll raise your goddamn power bill like a motherfucker. You know? Oh, but I'll give you, I'll give you $12. I gave everybody $12,000. You son of a bitch. Goddamn government don't have a clue how to run this shit. Sick of the New World Order. Let me get on my motherfucking American-made vacuum. I swear to God, this motherfucking stock market. I, I sit here and watch this motherfucker every goddamn day. The son of a bitch won't even go down like 50 points. I mean, you know, that's what really pisses me off, goddamn. I'm sitting here, you know... I, I mean, you know, the goddamn government is creating another fucking stock bubble. And for every six to ten jobs we lose, that's another foreclosure. Yeah, I, I mean, that's some fucked up bullshit, you know? And then they talk about government motors is going to have to close 3,600 dealerships. And you figure what? If there's a hundred, a hundred people working in dealerships, I mean, that's goddamn 36,000 people. Just stop more goddamn You know, these bumpers aren't all in it. You know, everything's better than expected. Better than expected. You know, i tell you what's better than expected, goddamn it. You know, hey, a motherfucker could be killing a motherfucker. And they'll be, oh, well, that was better than expected. I mean, goddamn it, you've got fucking personal, personal household, personal household debt. Held by the public in the United States of America. We've got 
13 billion just in auto loans. You know? Student loans 556 billion. Goddamn. We got motherfucking credit cards 953 billion. I mean, then you got Chrysler out here. Oh, we filed bankruptcy. These motherfuckers are filing bankruptcy. Just so they can get eight billion more dollars from the fucking government. You play that shit. I tell you what, people. I'm at my fucking. I'm, I mean, this is unbelievable. There's no fucking jobs out here. What bullshit jobs there is? No pay shit. Fourteen and a half trillion dollars in residential mortgages. Dead, held by the damn public. What the fuck are we gonna do there? I mean, they're destroying the middle class. They have destroyed the middle class. You know, and I tell you what, I for one, I'm sick of this bullshit consumption driven finance economy that ain't worth a fuck. I mean, we need to get back to where we were manufacturing shit, saving money. I mean, what the fuck? Oh, the recession's over. Goddamn markets done went up like 30 fucking percent in the last 60 fucking days. I mean, goddamn. You know, these motherfuckers have manipulated all that shit. I mean, I have I've never seen shit like this. Fucking jobless rates are rising. You know, unemployment is fucking out the sky. Stock market keeps fucking rising. I mean, what, what, is hope the strategy? Is hope the strategy now? I mean, you got a 10-year treasury yield high as fuck. We're having to cut this cost of taxpayers billions to pay back this bullshit borrowing the government keeps doing, and none of it's benefiting you, unless that is if you've got some fucking bank stock. I mean, you know? You got this discover credit card rate, 18%. Oh, that's a great thing. That's a good thing, you know? I mean, what the fuck? And really, you know? And then you got Obama. He's about to come out here and talk right here in a minute. I mean, and then you got guy. I mean, how do these fuckers keep a straight face? How do they keep a straight face? Oh, well, we're, 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 uh, we're trying to protect the taxpayer, you know? And then you see everybody rise up like the press in the White House whenever Obama walked in there. Everybody rises up like they're just giving him all this respect. I mean, you know what? And he had a little smirk on his bullshitty shitty grin on his face. Motherfucker. I'll tell you what. You son of a bitch. Come on. My God, the fucking GDP shrank by 6%, the goddamn stock market goes up. That was better than expected. I'm going to have to borrow $515 billion between July and September of this year. You know, they borrowed $361 billion between April and June of this year. You know, and you know what we borrowed last year between April and June? $13 billion. If it weren't for people still getting unemployment checks, we would be fucked. Because the civil unrest would have motherfucking already happened. And you bet your ass on that. You bet your ass on that. Well, Fargo, they came out and said, well, 10% of the people that have a Wells Fargo credit card aren't even paying. And you know what? I'm one of them 10%, motherfucker. Don't give a damn. And do not give a damn. You hear that, Wells Fargo? I do not give a damn. I've had about 30 fucking banks fail. You know, and where did Henry Paulson go? Has anybody heard where Henry Paulson is? That fucker just disappeared, didn't he? Where the hell's he at right about now? You know? That dumb bitch just skedaddled the fuck out of here. I mean, shit, you know? We got a bunch of fucking puppets. Oh, yeah, then they, then they, I hear they hand Chrysler over some fucker that's like a top member of the, uh, was it the Bilderberg Group bullshit on Fiat, and they're going to hand that right over Chrysler right over them. They could 
would have dropped an atomic bomb on America and we would have been better off.